So that's where we come in. And that's where I'd like to announce today the VECO uh, Quality Assurance and Review for Models. This is a very simple, fast, and very inexpensive method. How inexpensive, you ask? This is a $2,000 flat fee service. So all you need to do is give us your draw, you know, a signed contract, $2,000, your drawings in your model, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to check your design files for use in construction management. So it really is a very simple process. We've created a form that's pre-populated with drop-downs, so you would type in your project name and location, et cetera, and a short description of the project. Six to ten, uh, there's pre-populated drop-downs of all the things that we would expect to see. You can, of course, uh, add something else if uh, maybe there's not an 80% DD there, but that's the phase you are at. Uh, according to the design team, you could just put in the 80% DD. So it's very, very easy to fill the form out and, uh, and have us get started. All you have to do is deliver the contract, the model, and the drawings, as I said, to VECO. And this is our picture of Akos and his office. Um, and uh, this is really, um, you know, going to remove a very tedious task uh, from your team and get it into some specialized uh, folks who can, who can help you. And uh, speed, uh, we believe that this report will typically take between one and two business weeks. So uh, probably closer to two. Um, it depends on how many systems are in the model, and it depends, of course, on how large the model is. But I think kind of a 10-day average turnaround is what you should expect. So we'll now take the model, the drawings, and the contract, and we'll start to run through our checklist, looking at the files, the structure, modeling techniques, is uh, content consistent, are the names helpful, uh, the completeness of the systems, how the uh, model's been organized, and then the quality of the content or the suitability for using downstream. But as I said in the pre previous slide, we'll also compare the drawings to the model uh, system by system, and we'll find where those, those uh, typical problems are. For example, um, you might have a load-bearing slab that needs different concrete, and that's noted in the drawing detail, but it is not noted in the model. And so that's where we would want to, uh, you know, call out that if you're going to use this model for estimating, then you'll want to note that that, that slab has, um, has different concrete than the standard slabs. So there are many in inconsistencies like this dealing with uh, penetrations in the slabs, uh, you know, the way walls are done. And we've just done it so frequently, uh, so many times, uh, that we're just expert at it, and we know where to look for these inconsistencies. So we'll search them out, and we'll give, give back a report. And the report will have two things. It'll have a uh, listing of the scope that's included. So this column here shows what's included and excluded from your scope. And then it'll give you a score, with the best score being 100% of the systems. So this is the site work. And generally, when the score is above 70%, those systems can be used downstream. You see here we have a couple of systems that come in lower and in detail. Down here, we probably have want to take a look at some of these and say, why is it that these are... Uh, you know, are not as suitable, and what can we do about them? So this report is a great document to go and discuss with the design team, and perhaps even the owner, right? It's a third-party impartial review of the model, and maybe you can use it with the owner to request some additional funds to refine the model for 4D and 5D so that, um, so that he buys, you know, he buys in and supports you in your use of the selected technology. 
is just another, some more systems. This is the uh, structural systems uh, and uh, connections and framing and stairs. And uh, again, going to get a detailed report, what's in scope, what's out of scope, um, what level of detail, and uh, you're going to get your scores here and some detailed assessment of the actual model. Here's an example of a typical problem. So this is what VECO will provide you for each issue. You'll get an ID. There'll be an issue number. Uh, you'll be told where, uh, both by grid and by definition, the problem occurs. A description of the problem with uh, some, some detailed information. and and our impact assessment, so what you may want to do to fix, okay? And um, this is, this is uh, the, the idea here of the impact statement is to help you assess what to do about it. Here's another example um, uh, of, of a similar problem. And again, this is the difference between the 2D and the 3D. Uh, we see this quite frequently. At this point, you have to assume that on every floor, you're going to have the same problem. So that's why we call them typical problems, because once we find one of them, we pretty much need to assume that they're going to occur on every single uh, instance of that system. So if there's a problem with a stairwell, then we know that if there's 10 stairwells, we'll probably have those 10 problems to fix. And we need to assess whether it's easier to repair them or maybe replace them. Here's a naming issue. Again, this is not a big job, but one you can avoid if you get the family names planned in advance with the design team. So I'd urge you to learn how to do that. Uh, it's not not difficult. But you know, here is where uh, we would really want to have a, a good naming convention to help the cost planners and the estimating folks pre-construction in pre-construction uh, planning their line items. We want the line items to easily uh, come together and be grouped properly so that our reports are complete and our pricing is comprehensive. So let me summarize the process. It's very simple. You contact VECO. You determine uh, the scope by including and excluding scope. You receive a simple contract from VECO. VECO. Uh, again, it's only $2,000. You sign it. You deliver us the contract, the model, and the drawings. Um, we'll perform the work approximately two man weeks. Um, we will deliver you a completed quality assessment review, including a full score by system, a summary score, and a full issue report, which we will deliver to you and review with you in a two-hour session. Uh, then you need to figure out what to do. Is this model good enough to use as is? Do you want to repair things? Do you want to rebuild certain systems, et cetera? So what are your options there? I've created some uh, nifty acronyms here, DIY for do-it-yourself. So you can just use our report to guide you to the typical problems. Again, if we found, if we found a problem with slab penetrations and you have four slabs, you're going to have to figure that you're going to find it four times, and you're going to have to examine every single slab in the, in the model. Uh, you could get a fixed price proposal from VECO. We'll already be familiar with the model. If you want us to fix the problems after we go through the list with you or fix certain ones, uh, we can quickly price that for you and give you a fixed price to do that work. Or you could also do a back office team. A back office team is really a couple of additional employees for your company that are provisioned by VECO, they're managed by Akos, and your key user, your project manager. And VECO supplies all the software, hardware, and management of those personnel. Uh, we train you to interact with them so you can assign them work. There's an online management system for assigning the work, tracking it, completing it, checking its quality, and building out your jobs. And uh, it's a 90-day minimum term. Um, a one-person team is about $10,000 a month, and a two-person team is about $15,000 a month. Um, those are approximate prices. 
Um, so it's not a lot of money, particularly if you can uh, bill it off to several jobs. And we, you know, a team of two could easily do several projects simultaneously for you, so that uh, they can help you guys get the rent, get them get the models ready for use in estimating and scheduling. And they can also um, they can also help you build business development models, so they can they're really kind of jack of all trades. And a back office team becomes familiar with your company and your processes, and they really are an extension of your BIM team, a low cost extension. Uh, or you could um, also get one of our uh, you could also get one of our EMEs, our embedded modeling experts. So these are folks that are working on Vico projects kind of day and night. They've done dozens of projects themselves. They've done dozens of BIM models for 5D. And they can come visit your office for a three-month term. Uh, and um, that's quite inexpensive uh, as well. That's $14,000 a month. And we will, again, supply them with all their uh, software, hardware, and their management and make sure they, they are set up. And they can um, teach and supply all of our best practices, templates, and processes. These guys are not actually going to replace Vico trainers for the core training, but once you've had the core training, these people can take the best practices and all the templates which we use, they use every day in their other projects, and teach you to use them on your projects. So it's a great that's a great option as well. So before we get to the Q&A part, let me summarize. Models can now be checked quickly and inexpensively, $2,000 a model. Uh, and that includes the drawings being checked. Um, the customer can uh, review the scope or the detail with ECO. Uh, that's done easily through the drop-downs in the form. ECO will perform the full QAR on model and drawings and create for you and deliver to you both a report of what must be fixed and a report about the quality of the model for your own internal uses, whether it's with the owner, the design team, or just with your own uh, pre-construction planning team. 